You daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. to 3.75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on, what is it? Oh, no, not again. Let's go. <gasps> uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven instead of a whole pan. All I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh -huh. Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh, maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, 
Sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me... I mean about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. You did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. Berry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big. They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See ya, Blueberry. No, the plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. 
and you say long things that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn! Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it, but watch out when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang! <laughs> But here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grow Daisies, we don't sell corn, no siree. But we're efficient, too. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental Super Size Popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed Packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great song. <laughs> we all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, it sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, oh, that's that's good. Good. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my! We are pretty bitty, and this corn pops very big! Yeah, it's oh, not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we'd better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! Should be far enough away, I believe. Oh no! Whoa! Where did they go? I don't 
don't know. They they completely disappear. I mean, they're gone. Where are we? Down in some kind of cave. Hey, what's that? Smoke? No. It looks like steam. Probably some kind of underground hot spring. Hey! We're down here! Hey, guys! We're here! Help! Help! Oh, I hope they can hear us. Come on! This is the direction they rolled. think it's been hours but at least with the steam heat we'll be warm I'm getting hungry yeah me too I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this oh I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books we'll figure out a way improvise what we need is a ladder too bad all we have is an ear of corn wait what did you say improvise that's it! Hey! An, An ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh, the steam from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait! Why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent! Heat the corn and make it pop! Then we could eat it! Good thinking, Strawberry! in all the places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top! Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea! Life is sweet, life is
<laughs> the whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gallery. So we want this place spotless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, everybody, look lively. Look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. Uh, uh, I'll get it. You don't need any help. I can do it. Oh, we're working on this together. <laughs> season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original. One of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking 
forward to this strawberry. In the old days, this was my favourite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder. <gasps> and colder. And colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern. Because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Well, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess they didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original. One of a kind. Never been seen before enough. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Raspberry? <gasps> what? Is that your Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I can make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> What was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Oh, oh, hey, oh, where's everybody going? Oh, 
over to Strawberry's. We're going to show each other our glimmer berry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... Everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now no one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold on a minute. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's happening? What's, what's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. 
But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest fairykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? The others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's... That's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Do it. Come, on. Do it. Come on! Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Just give me another oh, second. Second. Just Give me another second. I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beauty
incredible manicure ever! But there's more! <laughs> They're musical! Wow. <laughs> I call them Glamicures! They're the greatest! The very best! Most creative salon beautification! since raspberry lip gloss. I'm so glad you like them. This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamicure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. So, uh, 
do you like your Glamacure? Oh, it's just, um, uh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> Music is nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to, and the one coming from your Glamacure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the Glamacure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Oh, good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the Glamacures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her Glamicures, well, she, she, <gasps> she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. You're right. She's really nice about oh, things I like do. this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would. Uh, I would. I would put up with my Glamacure forever. Us too. Well, then it's decided. We'll never tell them and her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. One, three, two, seven, eight, nine. Isn't the signal for nap time? Nothing is. Huh? What? for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just... Terrible. Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? 
maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that <gasps> music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my Glamacure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our Glamacures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Oops! Oops! Oh, oh no! Uh, got it! Oh, uh, thanks, Lemon! Oh, hi, Strawberry! Hello! I, uh, just dropped by to see if everything's, you know, Okay? Okay? Well, sure. What wouldn't be okay? Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry joined me. Uh, so is your Glamacure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good! Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Fiction. Adventure. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? I uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my Glamacure. See? Oh, good. I was just, well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to, well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon. Strawberry. <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. <sighs> Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> hey, did I mention how much I love my Glamacure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, Everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. 
bright and distracting. I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt. And she removed it. You told her? But, 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 but. Is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell, tell Lennon the truth! <laughs> so? What are you waiting for? You go. No, you go. After you. No, you. Hi! Wow! Do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> You're laughing. But why? <laughs> I never <laughs> I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures. Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh. Controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yay! <laughs> Especially the off switch. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little 
jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My, um, guest room. It's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and bitty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh me, oh my, you even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm nice nice to meet you. Meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousin sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is two. Hey, that's my favorite color. It's not. Yeah, huh? It's so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <laughs> Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. 
tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> fine. Wow! Look at all the great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum. Mm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy! You must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <gasps> mm, let me try that. Get your own. Girls! <laughs> Please, if you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Mm, like where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh, huh? oh. Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. Oh! <laughs> so super fun! Karaoke! Hey, give me a turn. I sing better than you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, Girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh, how do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. <laughs>
really going somewhere with that. Going somewhere? I wish you would go... <sighs> we don't want to give away the surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with you? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh... I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Oh. Oh. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I'd better check on Mr. Longface and... And those twins. <laughs> Mr. Longface! I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, a little help here. Strawberry's Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock-winding room. Sorry. 
Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, uh, I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. Huh. Oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay. <laughs> We're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> If you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Very best friends forever. Never let each other down. As long as
lemon spout? Isn't that the orange spout? Hmm. This is orange flavored, but it's the wrong color. What's going on? What flavor is that? Kiwi? Honeydew? Spinach? Uh oh. I'm running out of time. Look! Oh no! Oh well. <sighs> I wonder what's wrong with these juice spouts. Maybe something's up at the berry works. Princess Berrykin, what's causing all this? Oh. <sighs> Him. Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. <laughs> that is, if we can catch him, I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! I 
think it should be blueberry blue. Oh, you are so wrong. Orange is prettier. Lemon yellow. That's my favorite. Plum purple. Raspberry blue. Orange. Yellow. Blue. Orange. Strawberry! Ooh, pretty. Nice. I like it. Hello there, baby berrykin. My name is Strawberry Shortcake, and strawberry is my favorite color. <gasps> Me too! <laughs> strawberry, come play! Strawberry, come play! Adorable! <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like fun, but don't you think we should ask the princess if it's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fun. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? Thank you, Strawberry! You're very, very welcome. world. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. <laughs> Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? bottle. Wait, it is baby oil, but the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Oh! <laughs> Better catch it! Mr. Longface, you've just about won. <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Oh, oh, oh here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> oh, but. But this is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. Oh, oh. oh you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um. Yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. 
wait for um, strawberry. What do you think? <laughs> I like this one too, but oh, I just, I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> Before you make things change colors. Why? <laughs> Ick! That really clashes. Well, for example, what do you think of this color hat with my outfit? Pretty! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, he'll never have a future in fashion design. Oh, how do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is! It was him! Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it! Your miniature golf course! Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> but, 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 but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go! Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Shortcake, uh, those are the last ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. Okay, baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like this. <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. belongs to which player? Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play Mega! Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. I know, I know. I can take out Berry Sparkles and I can put them back, Strawberry. Promise. Really? Oh, that's great. Keep playing. 
playing. Yeah, you did it! Oh, brilliant! Very good! Yay! <laughs> Say, can you help us? You did such a good job taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? You see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice, smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! What do we say? You're welcome, Laz Bully. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I couldn't tell which was the right hair dye or nail polish. Just look at me. What about Lemon? Pretty. <laughs> yes, it's good that you think she's pretty, but she doesn't think she's pretty. Oh, no? No. You see, Everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh, okay. <gasps> Pretty. Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon. You're welcome. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Berrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. Does everyone have everything they need? Why, yes, we do, Strawberry. Thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. What was that? Oh. Is the Berry King Marching Band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. Wait, Let's go find out. out. Yeah, 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 we gotta see what this is. That is very exciting. What's going on? We want to announce. <clears throat> we, we 
want to oh, insert... I beg your pardon. Oh, no, I beg you. Uh, after you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. No, 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 I insist. One ladybug argument coming up. <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Ladybug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. A club run by Ladybug and Katiebug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our, Our good, good citizens club! See? We even have membership pins. A good citizens club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a good citizens club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick berry kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping Berry Bitty City clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good citizens -y, you get membership pins. See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, well, that's oh, just great. great. I like that. <laughs> so, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it. Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse. And then we can talk about uh, those uh, good citizens-y things that we all did. And think up some new ones, too? Definitely. Sure thing. Why not? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Last minute special delivery! Super duper really important, highly special good citizens club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. Hi, Orange. I was thinking I might bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure, I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow, that's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow. Oh, you look great. Oh, yes, fantastic. I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. <gasps> I didn't get one. Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. Maybe she went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! It'll be way better oh, good. here! You're here! It'll be way better here! No, here! <clears throat> no, here! Excuse me. Plum! We were having a, um, discussion about where to put the banner. Where, where would you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? <laughs> Excuse me, but the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins, and I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? 
Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um, a, um, hmm, club leaders conference? Of course. I'll be just right outside ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, huh? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good citizens club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the good citizens club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes. You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the good citizens club. Inside and out? Uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. <laughs> I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no. It looks terrific. Really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh, three. Yeah, three's good. Yeah, we always use three. Uh-huh, that's right. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was gonna bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! I can make peanut butter and glimmer berry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Huh. Dear Plum, when you're finished, we are over at the berry grove helping the berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've gotta hurry. <laughs>
are you there? Well, our note's gone, so she must have gotten it. I wonder what's been keeping her busy all day. I know. Let's leave her another note. Sorry we missed you at the Fairy Grove. I'm sure you've been very busy being a good citizen. See you at the meeting. Love, us. Ew! You call this a snack? How about this one? But the snacks aren't just for you. I thought this was about the other club members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These'll do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. I think planting flowers in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is going to be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. <laughs> well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color, but I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us? We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> Well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> I can't be in our club? But, but you, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. Welcome back, Plum. Oh, we missed you. Good to see you again. Where have you been all day, fellow good citizen? That you've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I... I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What test? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and I don't? Didn't yours come in the mail? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That one. Oh, that one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like you would know. Are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you. Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? 
we're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test, and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests, too, if you want. <sighs> why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't, so we have to. Plum wouldn't? No. It was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club? No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? But you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but... Hmm, I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. Me? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> well, if that's the case, I call the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club to order. <gasps> the chair leader recognizes Blueberry. I move that we hold our first meeting as a camp out. Your attention, please. Now, I'd like us to vote on Strawberry's idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe some warm scarves for the fairykins for the winter. A stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... Oh, 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 oh! We eat snacks! <laughs> but if we, like, make snacks <laughs> for the fairykins and the berry works. Yeah, because they all work so hard. I think that's a lot of good ideas for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. <laughs> and now I officially declare that at the close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation. About taking dreams seriously Erase your fears, don't worry about perfection All that matters is what you believe Feel inspired, learn, ask a million questions Be the very best you can be, yeah Just imagine all the possible directions Let's make history
Maybe Berrykins are very cute. And with so many of them in our community, I thought they needed a new daycare center and playground. Good. I'm sure they'll love it, Princess Berrykin. I'm sure they will, but... But what? Well, it needs something. The metal is all grey and the wood is all brown. Kind of dull, don't you think? Oh, yes, I see what you mean. It could really use some fun colours. Exactly. And maybe some... Uh... Decorations! <laughs> yes! Design! Yes! Style! Oh, yes! A makeover! <laughs> Someone who is good at that? I know two someones who are very good at it. Lemon and Raspberry. Excellent. I have always admired the sense of design and style. I'll go tell them. They'll be so excited to get started. They'll jump up and say, Uh, I don't think so. But you're both perfect for the project. <laughs> well, we are naturally very stylish, each in our own way. But we probably should say, no thank you. I don't get it. You both like the princess. Certainly. And you both love the baby berrykins. Absolutely. And you're both talented. Definitely. Then what's the problem? She is. You see, see, we're both very, uh, very, very, um, creative. But our ideas don't always match, you know, go together. And then there are hurt feelings and tears and arguments. What do you mean? Uh, she needs a for instance, you know, uh, an example. Uh, which one? Croquet Club. Here's a great example. A poster we did for the Croquet Club. I thought the perfect slogan would be, you'll have a ball. And I said it should be, you'll have a wickedly good time. <laughs> it's more clever, more memorable, more, I don't know, more now. And I thought the color style was gonna be all wrong. My color style, she means. See, we both have good ideas. We just can't agree on whose are better. But you two are friends. You'd make a great team. Lemon with your sense of beauty, and Raspberry with your sense of fashion. Thanks for the compliments, but I still think we get on each other's nerves. Well, can you maybe not argue for just a little while? Long enough to at least listen to the princess's ideas? <laughs> glad you think so. Now, over there, I thought we could have an art station with crayons and easels and... Oh, and finger paints and modeling clay. Good ideas. And over here, some games and activities, like a... Yeah, a, a colorful, you know, a multicolored, what you call it? A hop, hip, hopscotch board. Brilliant. It'll be a first, an original, the one and only High Style Playground. So, you'll do it? Yes! Oh, wonderful! Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the daycare opens in two days. Do you think it could be ready by then? No problem! Oh, thank you. I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. All right, the first thing we should do is give some pizzazz to the dandelion bouncing pit. Its whole color scheme is so zero. Well, that sounds nice, but what the princess wants is style. So let's start on my hopscotch board. Your hopscotch board? Hmm? Oh, uh, I mean ours. It's just I have the perfect idea for it. Well, okay, I guess, uh, I mean, uh, no point in arguing. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Doesn't this look cheerful? Hand me the red paint, would you, Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> Raspberry, what are you doing? The kind of design work that makes a baby berry can say, wow! <laughs> I thought 
We were gonna work on my hopscotch board. Well, you were having so much fun painting old-fashioned decorations. I thought I'd leave you alone. Old-fashioned? Uh, it's called retro, and it's very much in style today. Yes, well, I'm sure there are people who like that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I'm going for a more trendy, grab-your-attention look since fantastic fashion is all about being daring. You know, taking design chances and all. <laughs> yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year. <gasps> Oh, perfect. What? Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute. But? Or, and this one's my personal choice, build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> there you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but... It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> hey, Lemon, could you grab that side of the... Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Never mind. <sighs> Raspberry, could you give me a hand with... Oh, never mind. If Raspberry doesn't appreciate me, what's the point? I'll just let her do it however she wants. Alone! Stop! <laughs> this is getting to be very not fun. If Lemon doesn't like how I do things, she can just do it all, all by herself. One, two, three, and that's it! You got it! <laughs> nice! Excellent! Oh, really excellent! Oh, thanks, Plum! I'm glad somebody likes what I do. Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Hi, Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh, hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy. You girls need any help? Um, <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were, but she thinks her ideas are better than mine, so I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is better. <laughs> So, what do you think? Oh, oh, do you have anything more, uh, peppy? Oh, Lemon, it's you. Gosh, uh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> are you, uh, finished already? What? Well, aren't you working on the playground? <gasps> aren't you? I, I thought, thought you were. were. I gave up so you could do it your way. Me too. Nothing got done. Hi, girls. Hi, Strawberry. Nice day. Hey, 
I just heard that Princess Berrykin is on her way over to see how your job is coming. <gasps> Hopefully you settled your differences and everything's... fine? What a mess! I can't believe you just walked out and left it like this. Uh, me? You? Well... You walked out too! If Princess Berrykin sees this, she'll lose all faith in me. Well, what about me? Maybe she'll never even speak to me again. Everyone will hear about it and lose trust in me, and, and no one will come to my salon anymore! Well, what about what everyone thinks of me? My, my reputation is on the line too here, you know. If only it weren't for you and... For me? What about you? Well, you walked out on the job without even telling me! So did you! <laughs> I don't work for you. I don't work for you either. Oh, blaming each other isn't solving anything. <sighs> You're right. I am? Yeah. So, what do we do? Well, we've got to keep the princess from seeing this until we can get it finished. Or at least cleaned up and, and almost finished. I agree. You do? Absolutely. We got a staller. Hello, Princess. Coming to see our work? Yes. How is it coming along, girls? Oh, just uh, splendidly. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, but wait. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Why, whatever is wrong, Raspberry? The, uh, chair, uh, I mean, tablecloths. Oh, my. Yes. How silly of us to forget. We can't show the princess the playground now because... She has to decide on the right fabric for the tablecloths for the lunch tables. Quickly, princess, let's go to my fashion boutique. Oh, we're so lucky we ran into you. Oh, this plaid is nice, and this color would go fabulously with this color, don't you think? But we just don't know about these polka dots. Well, these are all nice. Uh, I do have to be getting back to the berry works. How many more samples are we going to be looking at exactly? Oh, just a hundred more. Give or take a few dozen. <laughs> now, about this fabric, what did you think? Stripes? Or checks? You keep her busy. I'll try to do some cleanup. Good idea. Uh... Checks are a good idea, Lemon. Uh, Princess, could you take a look at this fabric, please? Yes, you better get going. Oh. Huh. So, we're settled on the tablecloths, then. And a perfect choice it is. How are things going? Oh, just fine. The princess has decided on a fabulous spring floral. How are things going with you, Lemon? Oh, you know, always could use a bit more time. <laughs> well, guess you have to get going back to the berry works now. Well, I could spare a few minutes to see how it's coming along. Goodness me! The flowers! We forgot all about those, uh, special flowers. Right, Raspberry? Why, yes. The, uh, the early blooming yellow-tipped basil puffs. Yes, oh, they're a must for any daycare nowadays. They are? I've never even heard of Peasel Puffs. Oh, yes. All the best daycare centers have them. I know. How about if you help us pick one? I'd be delighted. I think I see one. Just a little farther. You're almost there, Princess. Is that really a Peasel Puff tree? There's no such thing. That's just a dogwood tree in bloom. Okay, now grab a couple of flowers, Your Highness. All right, I've got them. <laughs> Princess, are you all right? Uh, a little dizzy, but fine. Here are your Peasel Puffs. Oh, the Peasel Puffs, they're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. 
welcome. I'm sorry that I have to get back to the Berry Works, so I won't be able to visit the play area just now. Oh, really? Oh, phooey. Well, it will look a lot better in the morning when we're done. See you at the grand opening, girls. <sighs> yeah, we're in very big trouble. If only you'd listened to my ideas. What makes you think you've got the only good ideas? Let's not start that again. Maybe Strawberry can help us. Good idea. Race you to the cafe. You win. Oh, oh, and then the balloon went all crazy, you know, wacky. I mean, we barely got her down safely. And the play area is still unfinished. And the only thing we agree on is that we'll never finish it on time. Strawberry, we're never going to be able to work well together. <laughs> but you already do work well together. Huh? No, really. Look at the clever ways you kept the princess delayed. Fabrics, balloons, flowers. I mean, it'd be better if you told her the truth. But that? <laughs> that took a lot of teamwork. Well, now that I think about it, we did plan that well. <laughs> yeah, your fabric idea was pretty clever. Oh! And your Peasel Puff gag. <gasps> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure I want to know what a Peasel Puff is, but do you understand what I'm saying? So? I think we're going to give the play area another shot. That's great! But it's still going to be a lot of work. Do you need any help? Thanks. That's very kind. But I think Raspberry and I should do it. We have our reputations to uphold. Oh, yes. And we promised the princess together, so we need to, you know, complete it together. Oh, no. We don't have much time. What do we do? We could work on each project together until it's done, and then we'll move on to the next one. What do you think? Great idea. Really? <laughs> really. Very best friends forever. Never let each other down As long as we're together Things will always turn around You might get lost, but it's okay When you've got your friends, you find your way back home Sweet home, a place you can always call your own Look, sleeping on the job However, they finished the job Wow, it's amazing! What a great team! I had a feeling they could do it. Look, the princess is coming. Quick, let's put up the ribbon. It's perfect! Very perfect. Princess, would you please do the honors? I now declare this Berrykin Daycare Center open! A great job. We only did the ribbon. There are your makeover superstars. Lemon, raspberry. I love the play area. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, vibrant, stylish, and fun. Both modern and old-fashioned. Thank you, Princess. And we apologize for all that trouble we put you through yesterday. No harm done. <laughs> She didn't even care who did what. She was just so pleased with the result. She was impressed with the team. And so am I. Thank you, Strawberry. Thanks. Righto. And I can't wait to work with you again. Mm. How about working on a nap? <sighs> yes. You got it. <sighs> Partner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Find it. Uh, Nothing 
It could be almost <laughs> oh, anywhere. That's why they call it a Wanderberry. <laughs> we better find it soon. We need it for the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Oh, uh, we'll find it sooner or later. <laughs> we always do. Well, according to the rules, the Berry Fest princess is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that wonderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wonderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. My, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich, the shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes, perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see yeah. if you yeah. sure. yeah. uh -huh. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! Do it. Come on, oh. Strawberry. Give it a good kick. Oh, that's it. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, look, there it goes. At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never, ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen, very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, 
It stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! back now. Yeah. What'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it. Together. Come on, everybody. Grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys. Count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? Can I take a little break? <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Well, why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um. It's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, but you are the Berry Fest princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Custard! Do you hear that? Mm. It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! Tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that... Oh, oh. my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit! Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a wonder berry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, 
Yeah. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? How many does that make? 46 and 47. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy convents ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fun. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just... Oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, 
It can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more! Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yay! But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong. True friends go together. Pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? 
next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> Quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but, but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Da! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, J.D. Bug? No! Here, let me... No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh, <laughs> right. Stamps, stamps, stamps. Go! Oh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> stamps, stamps, stamps. Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely! It'd be cheating. 
Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. <laughs> Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return the sender? Oh, special delivery! Wait, how about a nice. Don't drop this package! Oh, oh, here's a. Sorry, doesn't live here anymore! Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you! <laughs> Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. <laughs> Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Loveface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. S strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon. Are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bay City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard of the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry! Strawberry, come back! There's only one rule today. the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. Thank <laughs> you. 
to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. No, it isn't. Um, excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay. What is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? Well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. Uh, doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> Not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right, it's his birthday. Yep, too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep, lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep, just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? It sounds like a river! Look, Pupcake! The bridge! Come on! 
On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, <laughs> we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Berry Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? Cupcake? Cupcake, where are you? Huh? What do you think? Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready! <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. What? 
cake? More apple cider, anyone? Ooh, yes, please, Strawberry. What's your secret? It's so good. Easy, Plum. You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. A bit of cinnamon and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it, and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! <Yeah! laughs> so nice. That means snow crunching yeah. boots and bundly warm jacket. Cozy fire. Strawberries, cranberry cookies. Mmm. And best of all, the Glimmerberry Ball. Oh, I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. Plum, I'm starting to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmerberry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah, great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Oh, uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze or catch colds or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So? What do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Uh, I don't know, Plum. If someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh, warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun! <laughs> Ooh, yay! What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it! Blueberry, lemon. Can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course. We're on it. Raspberry and I will get started, too. And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had. Very nice, girls. Oh, it looks great. And the best part, we're a full day ahead of schedule. Oh, which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and 
I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy. Oh, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. We have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean. Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm gonna find out who. And they will answer to the Rat of Plum. <laughs> Cupcake? Oh, no, you don't like cranberries. Cupcake? Oh, watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. Oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? <laughs> Strawberries Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, hold on. Pupcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies. Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. Pupcake! Pupcake, no! Plum? Looks like I'm not going to be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck! And have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, you think the cranberry is your ball. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. Are. Now maybe you'll let me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. if it's too bright. Oh, right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. Cozy. Ah, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problem. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! Ah! Uh -huh. Just a couple of cute shots. 
chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> That's right, you better scram. This is our place. Yay, we did it. <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little precaution. <laughs> to keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real bets. Tomorrow is a big day. The Glitterberry Ball! Oh, I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm just happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> No! Not again! Somebody's been nibbling our snacks! Somebody chased away our glow bugs! And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers! <gasps> and they're still here! <laughs> so, trying to wreck our party, huh? Now, we better clean this up, quick. We're running out of time. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming our way. Oh, let's get out of here. Come on. with plum pudding. Let's see them try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. Chipmunks 
have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh, they did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding our decorations. We found them sleeping in these scraps. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them, too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So? Look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then, where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the kids? Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like strawberry secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? <laughs> I think that says it all. Strawberry. Good morning. Would anyone like a fruit muffin before our dance rehearsal? <sighs> Doesn't look like we're having a dance rehearsal. Oh, why not? We can't get inside the studio. Plum isn't answering the door. Maybe she's still asleep. Huh? That's not right. Oh my, that doesn't sound good. 
tried that. I don't think she can hear us because of the music. Yes? Oh, hi, everybody. Have you been knocking? Oh, sorry. I'm just very busy. What can I do for you? Uh, you called us here for a dance rehearsal. Bright and early? Is it bright and early already? I'm afraid so. Oh, would you like a muffin? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. It's just, I want it to be perfect. Wow! What's all this? My extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year, the big bitty city dancers pull up a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but Plum, the dance-off is only a week away. All this? Yeah, I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to. Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance-off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun... They're great! Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about! Our best! Our perfectest! Ahem. <clears throat> uh, perfectest is not a real word. But you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is going to be our year. The year Berry Bitty City takes the dance-off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. We, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. <laughs> like the dance we did last year. Exactly. We lost last year. Ooh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except dust? Do you know what should be here? Uh... A dusting cloth? Ugh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. We understand, Plum. It's just... What if we help you simplify the steps a little? Yes. For example, this step could be simpler if we did just the first part. Or we could divide up the parts so each of us is doing the steps we're best at. Like, I'm really good at kicks, and Orange is so good at spins. That's a great idea. But that's not my vision. We have to do this dance. My dance. Or we won't stand a chance. Well, this is important to Plum. Let's give her way a try. All together now. Five, six, seven, eight. This foot goes here. This foot is over there. Like so. Up here and hold it just like this. And five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh. Since it's 
night? All right. Because it's our first rehearsal, I'll keep it short. <sighs> but be back here tomorrow, bright and early. And when you sleep at night, I expect you all to dream of the dance. Uh, do you think Plum's taking this too far? If you asked my feet about it, they'd say, yes. I know, but it means so much to Plum. Besides, it's only for a week, and then comes the dance-off. Oh, oh, six more days of this? My toes are gonna fall off. Practice, practice, not a moment to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. It's how you dance the dance. Huh? <gasps> Here they come! Welcome to Very Bitty City. We are so very delighted that we can be here to dance in your always delightful dance-off. Yeah! <laughs> How can we possibly beat them? We have to work even harder. And to give us the edge, I've designed some special additions to the dance. Oh, no! More stuff to learn? But, but we haven't learned the first dance. I've designed a new hairdo for everyone to wear when we dance. It'll make us look like a team. For me, please, could you try it out? Are you sure this'll work? Of course. I designed it. Oh, Raspberry, I've got an exercise to help you with your posture. Please balance this vase on your head. And whatever you do, keep it there until tomorrow. Whoa! I don't know about this. We'll have to design a whole new outfit to go with this vase. Trust me, it'll work. This is the greatest book ever written about dance. Please have it read by tomorrow, Blueberry. I'll try. Orange, I would appreciate it if you would pick as many glimmer berries as possible. Glimmerberry juice is super nutritious and will help give our team mega endurance. So please get tons. But tons! And me? Just keep practicing, even while you cook. Please, don't ever stop. Over twice and under once. Then around the side, roots to ends, and back again. Huh? Oh, my hair! <laughs> These new lovely leotards are going to look spectacular. Oh, 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 oh bitter berries. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Oh. How can I possibly read all of this tonight? A very large harvest. Only the glimmer berries on top are left, and even our highest ladders cannot reach them. And there's no higher ladders? <laughs> I've got an idea. Huh? <laughs> Just a little higher. Almost there. And she said tons, so we're going to get tons. Five, six, seven, eight. 
Dancers will be so good, nothing can stop us from winning. Close, please go away. Uh, it's me, Plum. We have one more rehearsal before the dance off. Can't, won't, impossible. What? But I can't leave the salon. Maybe ever again. But why? Remember your new team hairdo? <laughs> Great idea, wasn't it? I can't be seen in public. People will run screaming. It's not so bad. Okay, maybe it is. I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it'll work out much better without me. But, but, there has to be a way. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Bring me an extra large paper bag to put over my head. I'll just have to replan the dance a bit. Coming! Okay, Plum, ready, willing, and able to dance off. What's that noise? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Plum, but it fell off my head and I stepped in it and it's stuck. Well, we have to get it unstuck. <laughs> 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 I have a better idea. Why, Raspberry, what are you wearing on your foot? Her new dance shoe. Looks like a vase. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it will work out better without me. But, but... Okay, okay, stay calm. I still have three other dancers. I read the whole book, Plum. It took me all night, but I did it. But now my eyes are so tired, I can't see straight. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Are you sure that's your hand? I thought it was your foot. <laughs> wow! I asked for tons and I got tons! This is great, Orange! Uh, Orange? Orange? Thanks for mashing all the glimmer berries into juice, but aren't you gonna come dance? No! Why? What's wrong? <gasps> what happened? I got some on me. Oh, I've been washing and washing what it's gonna take until tomorrow to get these stains out. But, but the dance off is today! Hi, Plum. Your feet. What happened to your feet? Uh, all that dancing while cooking you wanted me to do? Oh, it gave me blisters on my feet. I can't dance. <gasps> I'm sorry, Plum, but at least the other girls can dance. No, they can't either. What? I've lost my A-team. What am I gonna do? Hmm. <gasps> what about your B-team? B-team? B as in Berrykins. B as in bad dancers, you mean. They were on our team last year, remember? I think that's part of the reason why we lost. But Plum... Remember, Berrykins have different skills, so you might want to modify the dance a bit to suit them. Well, I'll try it. I don't know what else I've got to lose. And five, six, seven, eight! Together! Stay together! <laughs> On the beat! On the beat! <laughs> Stand still! Not on your head! <laughs> stop! Stop, please! You've got it all wrong! No! That is not the way my dance is! <clears throat> it's just about time for the dance-off, everyone! Welcome, everyone, to the annual Very Bitty City Dance-Off, featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Very Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. 
First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers. dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the very Bitty City Dancers begin. Uh, I can't go on. We can never be that perfect. It would just be too humiliating for me. For you, what would it be for the Berrykins? What? The Berrykins? And what would it be for all of Berry Bitty City who pitched in to help put on this dance-off? Um, but... But and what about the other girls who rehearsed your dance? Everyone works so hard for you. But all look silly. Maybe, maybe not. But this dance-off has to do with all of Berry Bitty City. And our guests, the Big Bitty City Dance Team, too. Not just you, Plum. Those dancers came all this way to dance for us. And to see us dance as well. But we dance like we dance. The Berrykins are different. Why not let them dance the way they dance best? Wouldn't that be more fun for them? You're right. I haven't been making this fun for anyone. Berrykin dancers? What kind of dance steps would you like to do? Ooh, wiggle! Build a tower? Do some leapfrogging! Bouncing! <laughs> all right, everyone. Those are all great ideas. What do you think? Let's dance! But don't do it my way. Let's do it our way. Let's have some fun. And now for our second group of dancers from your very own Very Bitty City, the Very Bitty City Dancers! Although this is a friendly contest, we do have to choose a winner. And it is the decision of the judges that for originality, teamwork, and enthusiasm, the winners are... The Berry Bitty City Dancers!
to the garden. Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> Ah, yes. The Flower Festival. The event of the year. Oh, hi, Strider. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> As usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! Well, 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 It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Weird. We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor Violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your Violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Bloom. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh, uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His guardian is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. What is it, Miss Meringue? M more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. 
Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe uh, he's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much, just like you care about your violets. <sighs> That's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone! Bear can bloom! Did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> my garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> They've disappeared! <laughs> oh. oh, Barrack and Bloom, I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Hey girls, what did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay, if someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah, no tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? <laughs> asleep? Mm, me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Violet Petal Salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. <laughs>
the thief? <sighs> it's always the cute ones. Funny. He's too small to be the thief. Not to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures? <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this. What? What, what is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over there. Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Oh, shh. Shh, 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 shh. Be very quiet. Very quiet. Shh. shh. Careful. <gasps> Do you see it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, maybe we better run! Now, don't be scared. There's one of it, six of us. Yeah, but f f five of us are frozen in fear. I told Princess Berry, can we get to the bottom of this? And we're gonna do it, right? Now! <gasps> huh? Just shadows. Oh, I should have guessed. Like when we think we see animals in the clouds. So, um, now what do we do? I know what I'm gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to lum. Huh? Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Calm, calm everyone, please. Is something <gasps> under the ground? <gasps> it's over there. That's where the garden is. Come on. Look, more of Bear Can Bloom's roses are missing. Oh, he'll be so upset. I calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How... How did... This... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! <gasps> Grab it! <gasps> Look! Wow! Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this, and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh. How about... a lot? Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. Oh. 
Why did you have to say that? You think it's got one hand or, or two? Sounds like three or four. Oh my goodness! Is it horrifying? Or really horrifying? Or really, really horrifying? It's really, really cute! <laughs> We won't hurt you. Oh. Uh, are you hungry? Let's help them. Let's, um, like, build a pyramid. Yeah, that's good. Ouch! Oh, watch your foot! Give me your hand. There we go. We did it! Yeah. Uh. Huh, I think we found our thief. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, Lemon, your violets are sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. You're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Bloom? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see... I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart. Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first prize goes to... Lemon Moran! <laughs> Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Berry Can Bloom's idea. Good morning, Berry Can Bloom. 
Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes. Both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you. 
that one is over here. <gasps> oh, Mary didn't sparkle. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? <gasps> it's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. on a hat. But it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the barricades back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Two cups of tea on table five. Here's the waffle for that table. Oh, how do you make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. Neither have I. Not in place. 
Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Zips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Varricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that way. I sure wish we could do it the way the berry can do it. They make it look so easy. But it's not. change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. Over here. Tea? 
Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. yeah. Totally are. Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all gonna look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> a new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, here, let me... Oh, I got it, I got it. It's here, look at that. Okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. It looks great. Never look better. I love it. it sure does. Perfect. Ooh, thanks! Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck, it's locked. Oh, goodness! I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out! I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Oh. Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Let's take that one. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface! Uh, oh! Okay, down, please. <sighs> I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed, due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 so it's nice. Fun. It's really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. scissors. oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. <gasps> oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. That's your service. Let's get to work. We weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love this yeah. beautiful yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry.
Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The Salonomatic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the Salon Omatic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! Me! I mean, me! 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 <laughs> Incredible. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing. They're all identical. Oh, thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow! Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, hi, Barry. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends. Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things. As well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. My new automatic cleanomatic does it while I'm away. It keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new cleanomatic. Hey, does anybody need a, a, you know, trim, a manicure? Anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, nope. we're good. Thanks, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, bye, I guess. See how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> Can I borrow the cleanomatic next? Of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemon's a natural. Oh, I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me.
the Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But... I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. Lemon Meringue's Ferry Boat is open for business. Watch your step, please. All ashore. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. Goodbye. Delightful trip. Thanks, Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. That was wonderful. We'll be back. Wow. Another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? Uh, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello hi. hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But... How's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Even do anything. What a bust. Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service. But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Hmm. Oh, that 
looks wonderful. Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Uh, um, how did what get where? We just wanted you to stay. But it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Morang down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst. It never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is. Oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your fairy. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's croquet club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. Don't worry. 
You can do it. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. But where's Barry Kin Bloom? There he is. <laughs> To my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition, there has to be a Berry Fest princess, and Princess Berrykin has been Berry Fest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berry Fest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must plant the events, judge all the flowers, smell all the flowers, know all about spring, not to mention the wanderberry, and of course, she, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's, That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. 
No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. Oh, what if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry's so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh oh. We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come, come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I was gonna say that! Well... <laughs> Why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 Oh, what are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> Um, Katiebug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> I the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fest Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but 
I'm not sure Sadiebug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What are you doing here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to, to write a speech for my candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. <gasps> so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure Orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. 
Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. 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 Yeah. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Now that we've voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Yes? We have a tie! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a Berry Fest princess. I'm going to be in the front of the parade. <laughs> And the Berry Fest Princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! Me? Yay! But, but. You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest Princess. Yay! Yay! Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, uh, <laughs> good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh! Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. 